check out this giant box that I just got in. I know I haven't updated in a while, but I put in an order with Oriental Trading Company. And I'll uh, talk a little bit later on about how I found them and what I like about them. Ordered a lot of stuff. Let's get a lot, a lot of Christian products and a few things that are just regular, normal stuff for Easter. Um, oh, and by the way, my desk is 34 inches. So this is a big box. Alrighty, I have opened the box and already I see some cute stuff in here. And for being such a big box, luckily all this stuff was fairly light. So, well, here's something right here. <laughs> all these airbags. Okay, we've got St. Patrick's Day mini ducks. We've got some He Lives, He Lives Easter eggs. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be funny. You guys probably know what this is. I am going to unbox this one first and we can see what it is together. I ordered two. I'm not sure what to call these because I thought they were kind of like a nativity set but they're for Easter. And real quick, I just want to say, I am blessed with an awesome husband. Chris bought me all this stuff. I showed him the catalog, and there, there were some really nice things in it. And he let me go on a shopping spree. And as you know, some of this stuff is for me to give away to friends and and other things. All right. Ooh, okay, so this is the Palm Sunday scene. You guys can pause this. This reminds me of the Department 56 uh, houses that they have for Christmas. Okay, check this out. This is so nice. So this is when Jesus enters into Jerusalem riding the donkey. And we've got the arch. That's the entrance to the city with two little doves. We have Jesus on his donkey. <laughs> it's a good thing I had a little brush because the styrofoam pieces are everywhere. Neat. And we have a soldier, the Roman soldier. Two children with the palms. Have a woman with a pitcher of water. And we've got a man with palm leaves. And another woman. And then a merchant. Looks like he's selling rugs. So very nice little scene. Okay, this one is the resurrection scene. And this is what Easter is all about. And uh, we've got the tomb. And then Jesus resurrected and everybody else. So here is the other set. This is the resurrection morning. And it came in a brown box with the styrofoam. Uh, both of these have uh, this very delicate styrofoam. I foresee this breaking apart in the future 
from putting it away and uh, taking it out every year. So we have, move everybody out of the way, we have the tomb and then the clothes that Jesus folded and left in there. And then we have the figure of Jesus. Paint job's a little off on the hair. I might be able to touch that up. A lot of these, the paint is not the best, uh, but I don't know if I can fix all of them, but this one's pretty good. And then he goes up here on the top. And then there's an angel. <laughs> when you learn a lot of Bible, some of these things start to bug you. Uh, angels don't have wings, and angels aren't women, but okay, we'll let that slide. So you can put the angel over here. And then we have, I think this is Mary Magdalene. And she's bringing the spices. And this one, she looks older. This might be, uh, as the Bible refers, the other Mary, mother of James. And uh, maybe that's, I think, Joanna. I don't quite remember. And then we have this one, who is, well, it could be Peter. I'm not sure. One of them is Peter. And then the Bible just refers to the other one as the other disciple. And, oh, man, the paint job on his eye. What happened? It's like he's got a black eye. Someone hit him. <laughs> I don't know how that can be fixed. They're very, very nice little set. And this is the one that I had originally seen that that I liked so much that is why I wanted to place this order for all this uh, these nice things that they had. Okay, so here are the little parrot tropical bird Easter eggs. I'm going to get the red one out first because he's unique. Okay, so they come individually bagged. And they've got this sticky, so you don't have to cut these. You just pull it off like that. Oh, look at his little tail. <laughs> That's awesome. Okay. There's that. Let's get out a toucan. And they're hinged so you don't lose the two pieces. That's good. And then a little blue and gold. <laughs> there he is. Very cute. Alright, there they are. Very nice. I saw these and I just had to have them. Adorable. Next up, we've got these Jesus Easter eggs. So these are the three artworks that they come with. Text that just says, He Lives. He lives, and Jesus with a sheep, because he's our good shepherd. And then... He lives in the empty tomb because he's not here. Oh, and the uh, Calvary. That's pretty cool. Okay. Let's see how we open these up. I think I'll open this one. Oh, I think the paper just slides up. Whoa! <laughs> Okay, the paper can slide up and I ripped it. Oh, there's a perforation. But the only thing I don't like about that is if you rip it, you can't put it back on. Okay, there's a little hinge on one side, so the egg opens up. Oh, they're taped. Okay, I got the tape off. And we have a Jesus figure inside. And the paint job is awful. That can be fixed. Let's see if I can find one that looks nice. Okay, this one I cut 
around but what kid's gonna have the patience to cut that and it looks like it's still gonna fall off anyway so once you get the papers off you you can't get them on well unfortunately I'm not gonna open them all because I do want to give some of these away as gifts but <laughs> the, of course in the uh, advertisement they they're perfectly painted but in reality they don't look so good the sculpting is very nice I think this is the best one the sculpture I think is well done and they stand very well but the paint on the face leaves a lot to be desired uh, if you're an artist and you know how to paint figures you might be able to fix these but other than that I other than the paint job and the way that the stickers come off of the eggs, that you can't repackage them, um, those are the only negatives. I think these are a really nice uh, Easter egg hunt thing for kids to, to find and educational to teach them about uh, the resurrection and salvation. Okay, next up we have whale eggs. What do you guys think is inside the whale? Okay, you gotta get your nail in there and it pops off. <laughs> we have a Jonah. <laughs> He's scared. He's jumping because he's so scared. And this figure is actually much better painted. So <laughs> these were just so funny. When I saw the ad for these I was like, oh, I have to have one of those. That's hilarious. And lastly, totally not Easter related, uh, these are St. Patrick's Day mini ducks, but let's get them out. This is a pack of 24 ducks. Now on my other channel I show how I put modifications on my Jeep and also how um, I enjoy participating in this thing called ducking the Jeeps, where you go around and you put ducks on other people's jeeps with your uh, social media uh, names. I used to just put my, U my YouTube on there and uh, it's just a nice way to uh, spread some happiness and tell your other fellow jeepers that they have a cool jeep and you really like it. So we have a white duck with green shamrocks. <laughs> He's very pretty. We have a light green duck with white shamrocks. He's uh, like a, a lime green, very pretty. And then a dark green. I love these. These are adorable with white shamrocks. These are smaller than my patriotic ducks. Let me get my patriotic ducks and show you guys that. Here are the patriotic ducks. These are also <laughs> mini or micro ducks, but the sculpt is completely completely different on these guys. Let's compare the red one and the pale green one. He's got more of an um, angular, triangular shape and he's squatter and flatter. Uh, the base is about the same size, but this one is a smaller duck and I actually like this shape and size better. It's much tinier, it's more roundular and just it's more streamlined looks nicer though they both have that little those little ridges can you see it on the wing he has it too so as of now as far as just a normal duck shape these are my favorites this is cool okay guys so that is the haul and a quick review hope you guys enjoyed it des signing off